Hello and welcome. Matt Tukaki here, Australia's representative for the United Nations Global Compact. I'm coming to you from my own office here in Sydney, Australia today. On this, the United Nations International Day of Peace, where our theme for this year is sustainable development, sustainable peace. In about two hours time, I'm going to be joining my colleague, Chris Woodthorpe, the Secretary General's representative to Australia, where we're going to be talking to 200 Australians from the business, community, industry and government sectors on what this means for us here in Australia. What can we do in terms of business and industry to further the objectives of peace around our world? For the last decade, we have been involved in a number of armed conflicts, whether they be the Arab Spring, the most recent in the last 24 months with the fall of regimes across the Middle East, or the war in Afghanistan and Iraq as a result of the terrible attacks on New York in September 11. Armed conflicts occur not only in these places that are visible on our television screens, but they also occur in less well-known hotspots in Africa and South America. Ironically enough, it's also the 60th anniversary of United Nations peacekeeping, where Australians in their thousands have played a pivotal role in both securing and maintaining peace in conflict zones from the Middle East to Europe, from Europe to Africa, and from Africa into Asia, and more recently in places like the Solomon Islands and East Timor. The role that our peacekeepers play is an important and fundamental one, and we should be proud of them, and we should be proud of the very work that they do to keep people in those zones safe from harm. But there is a role that business and industry can play and must play in these countries where we are beginning to operate. We call it our social license to operate, where we must engage more clearly with the local community and where we must take a role in developing jobs and economic opportunities for the very people from whom we will be working. Whether that be in Africa, in mining and the extractive industries, or the development and building of manufacturing plants and facilities right across Asia. The fact that we can provide jobs and economic opportunities for the very people in our society who have much less than we do growing up in either Australia or New Zealand is really important. You cannot have a lasting peace unless you address the social and economic developmental issues that lie at the heart of so many of these armed conflicts. In doing so, we must recognise that we have to both provide hope and opportunity, aspiration and innovation to the countries on our borders or further afield, because as actors in this human race, we have a role and a responsibility to play, particularly if we have the ability to make a difference. So, on this day, <coughs> of all days, United Nations International Day of Peace, my message to all of you is very clear and very simple. Do more. Provide more opportunities where you can. Do little things. Be tolerant of others. Don't think that somebody is different to you just because of the way they speak or the way they look, or the colour of their skin, or their tone of their religious outlook, or the fact that they may not have the same partner as you or I would have. Because it's these very intolerances, um, our very, uh, how would you say, our very um, abject view of the lifestyles of other people that also sits at the heart of so many conflicts. In this decade ahead, up until 2020, we're going to be faced with a number of different challenges. I have no doubt that there will be more armed conflicts. It is hard to imagine a world where that is not the case, so I'm also a realist. And as the famous author Tolstoy once said, it is not war that is interested in people, it is people that is interested in war. So today on this day, make a difference. Reach out to somebody in your community or somebody in your social network or in the online world. Be more tolerant and be more understanding. And with that tolerance and understanding will eventually come the thing that we all desire most, a lasting and very sustainable peace.